Have you guys ever been to the, uh, I know it's a popular like tourist trap or whatever it's considered, but the, the golden guy in Shinjuku? Oh yeah, there? I've been, I've been. A few yeah, do you like it? No. <laughs> no. No, not your thing? Not really. You want because... to explain what golden guy is? Yeah, so golden guy is like this, fuck, what is it, like 40 by 40 meters area, mm. yeah. if you will. And it's just like a series of alleyways, extremely compact. It's not even a block. It's like it's within the block, isn't it? Yeah, it's tiny. And yeah. these bars all seat max three to four people, sometimes yeah. two, yeah. Um, depending on where you go. And uh, it's really expensive. Uh, you pay like a, sometimes like a 10 bucks just to sit down and then you only pay like 10 bucks for a drink. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a tourist trap because a lot of the time it's tourists and also it's a very sketchy area. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you are a foreigner, there will be a guy who is very much watching you. And yep. the moment they see you're foreign, they'll come up to you. It's really fucking frustrating. Yeah, sometimes I'm I, like, I went in there once uh, just cause I wanted to take my friend who had never yeah, been. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll experience it. And yeah, I was just like, man, this is just like a really cramped, super expensive yeah. drinking experience it's, that you can get anywhere else in it's Tokyo. It's like, if you, if you see pictures of it, which will probably be on screen now, it's it's kind of like cyberpunk house cloud. Like I close. love going to Golden Guy just to take photos. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, <laughs> yeah. it's like that yeah. cyberpunk aesthetic yeah. where you just got these all, a, a lot of these buildings and a lot of these bars just like cramped together. And you don't even know how anyone could live in there, let alone operate a business in here. Yeah. I don't, you know? yeah, cause I can't imagine <sighs> any of these bars getting maybe more than like 10 people a cost, like a night, right? Uh, it depends. There's one or two of the bars that are decently big, mm. but most of them are, yeah, like very small. I mean, there's small. like a, a few big ones like outside of Golden mm, Guy, like yeah. right before you enter it, yeah. like near the entrance. But like when once you actually go into Golden Guy, it's like, how do any of these places stay open? I think it's, you. I think to, you go to Golden Guy to meet other people. Right. Like you don't yeah. go there with your, well, you can go there with your mates. But you can also meet other people anywhere else in Tokyo. But there's, but there's this kind of vibe to it that's like, because it's so small, right? like you immediately have to talk to anyone who's next to you. Yeah. Like mm. you don't really have a choice. Like yeah. in the rest of Tokyo, you kind of go out your way and be like, hi, you want to know about my cult, right? Like you got like really, you got to- Let's, gotta, pray. Let's yeah, pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to seem like a little weird, right? Yeah. Cause you have, yeah. but in this bar, you know, you sit down, you're immediately next to someone and you just start trying to communicate. And yeah, uh, yeah the one time I went was cause, um, oh, we were staying right next to it, funny enough. Mm. And I think it was one night where, uh, it's my second to last night in Japan, my first time visiting. I think Joey, <laughs> Joey like gone and Alan didn't want to hang out. And I was like, well, I want to do something. So I Googled, I'm like, where can I go? And then this was the only place that came up. And I was like, All right, fine. I'd never heard of it before. I didn't know it was a tourist trap. Right, right. Yeah, so right. I just went there and uh, yeah, it was really fun. I mean, met a ton of people and then eventually made friends with these like Japanese people who took me to some of like the Japanese only bars. Mm. Yeah. And that was really fun. Cause then they were all talking to me asking what my favorite anime was. Knowing the Japanese titles came in very handy that day. Oh yeah, of, <laughs> yeah. Course, um, of course. Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, it, when it works and you go out and you meet people and they're actually cool and it's fun. It's like the best thing ever. I feel like you got a quite a lucky experience though, especially in Golden Guy. Cause I think so. Yeah, I've heard a lot of like horror stories about Golden a, a Guy. Lot, yeah. I think a lot, you could easily go there and just have not meet anyone the worst cool time. and yet yeah. be yeah. bored, spend a lot of money. <laughs> because um, I've been to like quite a few like smaller bars and establishments that are outside, like just outside of yeah. Golden Guy. This yeah. is really fucking cool uh, gaming bar that Chris Broad took me to. Yeah. Like literally across the road from Golden Guy. Yeah. One up or zero. I think it's called one up, yeah. One up, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's tiny, like it, there's just one bar. I can only maybe seat like, you know, six people, yeah. but like, it's like a proper gaming bar. We're not talking about the one that you guys took me to in the UK, <laughs> right? It's like a no. legit like gaming yeah. bar. And that one was really fucking cool and way, way cheaper than Golden Guy. But the problem yeah. is, is that those kinds of places don't come up in Google searches, right? It's almost yeah. always like, I, where I, do you I, drink in Shinjuku? I, I, Golden yeah, Guy always it, comes to I the know, I, oh, go on, go on. Yeah, I noticed there's like a lot of bars in Japan that are mm. fucking tiny and you go in yeah. there and it's like, I really like the vibe because it's like a really intimate vibe because it can only fit like five to six people. Mm. And there's only like one bar and you see at the counter counter. Um, but I do like that vibe and I don't know how they stay in business because there are so many in Japan. And they're yeah. so you know? hidden away. Yeah, they're so hidden. Like like the cigar bar we went to in Ikebukuro, right? Oh, it was yes. like, how the fuck would anyone be yeah. like, yes, let me go into this tiny building, go all the way up to the sixth floor and there it is right there. It's like, how would you how would you know that that's yeah, there? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's it's like it could be just someone's apartment for all we know. It probably yeah. is someone's probably apartment is. <laughs> that they just remodeled. That's kind of like the size we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like like an apartment in Tokyo, just, just yeah, like a one room apartment yeah, in Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you took me to that bar. That was like it was like an apartment, someone's apartment in an apartment building that had been converted into a ping pong. Oh bar. yeah. What? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And they yeah, they, so they, they served food and everything. It was yeah. fucking weird. So that Sydney actually discovered that because she read a manga that I was based on, yeah. or like she, right. a manga that had that bar in it, and she googled, and that bar actually 
actually existed. So it's this it's this ping pong bar that has like this massive ping pong table in the middle. It's like going into someone's living room. It was but so like, weird. To get there, like we had to go down the dodgiest alleyway, right? It right. was literally this handwritten sign that says ping pong bar, go down this alleyway. And so we go down this alleyway. It's like a dirt. It's like some shit from PT. Yeah, right, 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 right. Like, like there could be someone doing heroin around the corner. You had no fucking clue. Uh, so we go in there and then we had to go up these stairs and it was just like the stone stairs that someone's probably pissed on, you know? Right, you know, that, right, that yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we go up and then it's just someone's apartment. <laughs> it's just literally someone's apartment. <laughs> but you, it, but then they you, they open the door and it's like a proper, they've properly remodeled it into a bar. Mm. And I'm thinking, man, how would anyone fucking discover this? Cause this is just hidden away down two fucking dodgy alleys that I would not go down. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's reason. like, there are so many where I'm just like, you wouldn't, if you didn't have a curious mind, and you weren't afraid that you might possibly get stabbed down this alleyway. Yeah. There are so many places where it's just like, you'd never be able mm. to see it. I mean, that's, like, why, at all. Yeah, that's why I think Shinjuku is good, especially if you're a foreigner, cause you can, I think a lot of people in Shinjuku are like wanting to meet foreigners and stuff like mm. that or Shibuya. Mm. So if you stay to those two places, yeah, they're super touristy and everyone knows about them. Yeah. But I think a lot of places outside of that, you probably won't find people who are super eager to talk to foreigners. Maybe, maybe yeah. Ikebukuro. To maybe extent. Ikebukuro, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's as yeah. far as you'll probably go, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, in Shinjuku, you'll definitely find people who want to speak to you if you're a yeah. foreigner. Oh, yeah. And, then, and like sometimes you go to a bar and like the people serving you have to, have to speak to you as well. So yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I, I like that experience. Like the <clears throat> one place we went to that started playing all, the, all of our YouTube videos. On, so there was this bar that we went to, right? <laughs> there was this bar that we went to, like a really small intimate bar um, and They've, I can't remember who brought up the conversation, but I remember they found out that Sydney was a YouTuber because Sydney was there as well. Right. And <laughs> she makes the stupid mistake of telling her her YouTube channel. Oh my God. <laughs> so this bar has like four, like has like about three TVs in it, yeah. right? And so as soon as the bar lady hears her YouTube channel, she just like Chromecasts Sydney's fucking, <laughs> Sydney's videos, <laughs> like, like, cool. video all over the bar where like other people are also drinking there on right. this bar. So we're just there watching Sydney's YouTube channel. <laughs> and she's, she's just like dying inside. That's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? That's the one thing you shouldn't do if you have a YouTuber friend is play their videos in front of them. Oh yeah, exactly. What is it about that? I've never understood it's that. just hearing your own voice or you being not like, being silly, right? It hurts. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like you're, it's like you're okay with you. It, it, it's such a weird dilemma because my cousin asked me that same question, where she's like, "Okay, so you're all fine with me watching your videos as long as you're not there. But yeah. the moment you're there, you don't want me watching the video. Like, how does that make sense? I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't like it. 